Hello friends, welcome to the New Tech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an opportunity tracker in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this opportunity tracker. On the top, we are showing some visualization like we are showing the total number of opportunities. And this is the opportunity status distribution like how many opportunities are in progress, how many pending, then a negotiation phase and closed. Here we have the priority level distribution, the count of high, medium and low opportunities and this is the opportunity count by the owner. And in the last we are showing the date wise estimated value in the line chart. Now let me show you the data also. Here we have the data wherein we have the opportunity ID, opportunity name, description, opportunity source. So you can select the source from the drop down and you can select the opportunity name also from the drop down. You can add the new source or new name as per your requirement. Then we have the status and we have four status closed in progress, negotiation phase and pending. This is the priority level low, medium, high and the estimated value timeline start timeline end, and this is the potential risk. You can input the potential risk here. And here we have the honor and this is a drop down so you can add as per your requirement new names next steps and the comments or notes. Now let me show you how you can create this in Google sheet from the scratch. So let's copy this data copy and I will add a new sheet here. We will use the same data and uh, we will show you how you can create on the new sheet. So what I'm going to do I'll paste this data from row number 15 just paste it as a value shift, shift control and v so we have the raw data here now just select this data and reduce the font size take around 8 align this center and middle from here let's auto fit some columns this one and make it slightly bigger the opportunity name the description also slightly bigger and the opportunity source also now the potential this column also will make slightly bigger and here these remarks columns and the next step column also select and double click to auto fit that. Let's go to the view so and uncheck the grid lines from here select our data press ctrl a then go to the border and from here you can choose some light color of the border let's say I'm taking this one and then click on all borders so we can see a border here select the header and let's take some darker color let's say i'm taking this color and take the font as white make this bold and the font size take around nine you can make this again bigger all right now we can make this slightly bigger and we will use the text wrap here so let's go to the text wrapping and select this one wrap all right now on the top we will create a header so let's make it slightly bigger the row height and select this till the end column m is the last column and then use the merge cells here we will fill some darker color so let's say i'm taking this color dark green font take white and the font size let's say i'm taking 25 and the font name i'm taking arial rounded and here you can input your title like I'm doing here. Opportunity trigger in Google Sheet. You can align this center. All right. Now here we will create our charts. Row height is smaller for the row number 14 also make it smaller. Okay. Now we will select these two columns and we'll take this range also and use merge cells and we will fill here this green color or let's take a little darker this one and here we will select this range and use merge cells and we will fill here little lighter color this one all right so here we will type total opportunity and let's align this center and middle and we will make the font color as white and change the font area rounded and slightly bigger here we will use the count a function and we will get the count from row number 16 till the end and just hit the enter 
we are getting the count 18 here just align this center and middle take the font name Arial rounded and font size take around 140 now we will change the font color also so go to the text color and let's take this dark green color all right we can make it slightly bigger like this now we will create the drop down so here we have the opportunity name opportunity source status priority label and the owner also okay so we will create the drop down so we can select the opportunity name till the end and just right click and make it uh, drop down so automatically it has taken the drop down you can choose the colors also from here if you want to take but for now i'm just keeping it as it is now from here you can choose a value from the drop down the same thing i will do with the opportunity source you select right click add drop down and we will do this thing with the status also we have the status drop down you can see and now select the priority label and right click make this drop down we will make the drop down for the owners also right click and make the drop down all right so automatically it has created the drop down now we will create the charts here so the first chart we will create that is pie chart by the status so i will go to the insert and i will insert a chart automatically it has taken the pie chart but we will change this so first let's change the range and before that let's make this chart smaller and keep this here let's change the range we will take the status column range so delete this and we will select status column this one till the end it is on column e e15 till e1000 click on ok now here you can see it is taking use row 15 as headers aggregate so everything is working let's come to the upside and see the chart rename the chart title this will be opportunity count by status and we can just format the chart title like take the font size 14 center alignment and make this bold the color of the title take black okay now we can double click here on the legion and uh, we can move the legion to the bottom now we will go to the pie chart and from here the slice label we can take value and now we can go to the chart style and we can make it 3d so our chart is ready you can change the colors if you want like double click here and you can take let's say this light green color here you can take slightly dark green color and here you can take some other color this is small one let's take this light blue color and here you can take some other color let's say this one okay so that is how you can create this and we can make it slightly bigger and reduce the width just double click and we can keep the border color also so let's go to the chart style and the border color let's say i'm taking this green one let's select this and make a copy of this and paste this here and this time we will create the second chart which is priority label distribution and we will take the priority wise count so just double click and we will change the chart type and we will take here this bar chart and we will change the range also now if you see the priority is available on the next column which is column f so we will change the e range with the f here we have e just take f and just take f here and just hit the enter so automatically it has been changed to the priority and we don't need this so we can delete this from here delete this one also we can make this 3d and you don't need the grid lines you can select and uncheck from here go to the customized chart style and make it 3d you can change the colors let's say for the first one i want to take the color of this second one i want to take some different color little darker third one i want to take some other color let's say this one okay now we can make the copy of this and paste this here the next chart we have created that is opportunity count by honor okay so now we have the honor column at this is column k this one 
okay so we will just change this just make it slightly bigger double click go to the setup and take here column chart first then you can change this with column k k 15 till k 1000 and just hit the enter automatically it is taking by the owner okay so you can show here opportunity count by owner if you want to change it as a 3d chart you can go to the customize chart style and make it 3d all right you can show the data labels also so just go to the series and from here you can just show the data labels just click here to show the data labels and similarly for this chart also previous chart you can show the data label just double click go to the series and just scroll down and show data labels all right the, now the next chart is the line chart that is the date wise estimated value and the date we have taken here that is you can see column h which is the start date and we have taken another column that is column g which is the estimated value now we can use the this chart and make a copy of this just place this chart here and make it slightly bigger double click and change this chart with a line chart let's take this line chart this line chart and change the date range so we will take here we have two ranges so we will take estimated value and the start date so we will take column h and column g okay so just double click set up click here the first range we will take column h and we can copy this add another range and you can paste and that will be column g just click on ok now here we have two dates so on the x-axis it is taking the start date on the y-axis it is taking the estimated value it is taking the count we will take here sum all right now let's close this so we have this line chart here and if you want to format this you can format it for example for now i don't want to show the data labels here because the numbers are bigger so what i can do here let's scroll it down and check the data labels first then come to the top in the chart style you can make the smoothed line and you can change the color of the line if you want and just scroll it down and come to the series here you can change the color of the line let's say i'm taking this green line then if you want to show the markers you can change the point size let's take around 7px so this is the line chart you can see double click on the horizontal axis and you can reduce the font size so that it will be visible properly now here you can see our line chart is looking good so that is how you can create this here we can put opportunity count in place of opportunity count we can say estimated value by dates all right friends so that is how we can create this opportunity tracker in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching